Mabuhay, Pinam family! Welcome back, everyone! It's so good to be back filming, working, engaging with you guys. I have missed YouTube, especially you guys, and I hope everyone is doing well. Now that I'm back and we are entering the last quarter of the year, it is time to focus on what we do best in this channel, which is cash stuffing and saving money um, i will be announcing my giveaway details on this video so please watch the full video so you don't miss any details on how to enter if you are interested and if this is your first time please consider subscribing and hitting that like button it's a small gesture that helps the channel so much letting youtube know to share this video with others and i appreciate the support so on today's video and all videos moving forward, I will be focusing more on cash stuffing savings challenges and not so much on other categories. Um, the reason for that is because while we were away for vacation, we kind of got a little overboard on spending and my husband used his credit card. Play the drama music. Guys, I didn't think we would be back in some credit card debt. Why? Why would you do that? What, what, what is the matter with you people? It. While we were away on vacation, we visited the flea markets in Thailand a couple of times. We used all the cash that we had like budgeted for the trip, so we needed to use my husband's credit card. But the Damage has been done, but this goes to show even the best of us can go like a little overboard. But, you know, you can't beat yourself up. So what's done is done. But just an update for my viewers. Our vacation was wonderful. It was the break we needed. Thailand was like truly amazing. But as like many vacations, it wasn't always relaxing because my husband tried to cram so many activities and cities in this trip that like we rarely got to just soak up one place before we were on the move again. Um, we did get to enjoy uh, three days and two nights on Kolipe. Wait, babe, did I pronounce that correctly? Kolipe? Kolipe? <laughs> my husband is here, but yes which is you know it's an island in the indian ocean we had clear waters and white sands as our front yard like the kids really enjoyed it the only bad part was our flight home so we got rerouted an extra 12 hours so instead of going from thailand to japan to california we got sent from thailand to japan to boston then california and on top of that our sitting was separated but now that we're back from thailand we will focus on paying off the credit card and we will also focus on savings challenges. So I have a goal this year to save 20 grand for our house fund. And I already saved over 13 grand. And it is in our high yield saving account now. So I'm like, what, $7,000 away from my goal. My plan is to not cash stuff all the envelopes in our variable expenses binder until we have paid down this credit card but that's okay there's really nothing we need until at the end of the year the only a category that i need to finish is our christmas envelope hopefully by the end of november or early december and cash stuffing my kids envelope for halloween Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and start counting our cash to see how much we are cash stuffing today. And we are going to double check the amount because I asked my husband to withdraw the cash for me. Okay, so we have 100, 
1,000, okay, 1,000, 5, 10, 15, 20. So 1,000, yeah, okay, so that is correct. So we have $1,020. I will be right back, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and set up our cash in our tray. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So we're gonna go ahead and start with my orange binder. This is my um, revolving or variable expense binder. Let's see. So I'm only going to cash stuff two envelopes in here. Skipping on myself, husband. Okay, so kids necessities. We're gonna go ahead and put $50 in here. And right now it's empty. And okay, so family fun. We're skipping friends and family, my dad. Christmas, you guys. We're gonna go ahead and put... Um, two hundred dollars one two and right now um, Christmas envelope we have one hundred two hundred three four five six seven eight nine one thousand one hundred two three four five so we have one thousand five hundred dollars in here and my goal for this envelope is two thousand five hundred dollars so we are now done with this binder Okay, you guys, we are now um, doing my wallet. So since we've been back um, since July, I started giving myself my weekly allowance and anything I don't spend or left over on previous weeks, I roll it over into my no spend, less spend savings challenge. So I am still very much active on saving behind the scenes. So let's go ahead and unstuff. Um, the leftover from last two weeks budget so we can roll it over to my uh, savings challenge okay so personal i have a 60 dollars left in here for giving envelope i have a uh, ten dollars for dining 100 and buffer $50 okay so we're gonna go ahead and put this to let's go ahead and put this up here all right and I have here a lot of coins you guys let me see let me let's go ahead and empty this out all right so I have okay so uh, so before we cash stuff my wallet, let's go ahead and separate my coins. All right, you guys, so my coins are separated. So let's go ahead and bring in my uh, coin tower. So uh, this is my coin tower just to separate my coins. And uh, this is just to make it easier for me to, you know, like at the end of the year or when this gets full, um, it will just be easier for me to put them in the coin wrapper and to deposit them um, to the bank. So I have here my quarters. Next is my nickels. All right, so next is my dime. And I have left pennies. Okay, so we are done. She is getting heavy. Not quite full, but heavy. <laughs> All right. All right, so now we can go ahead and um, start over with our budget for two weeks. So for my personal, uh, personal, I'm going to go ahead and give myself $100 for two weeks. Okay, for giving, we're going to do $20. Let me go ahead and stretch out my wallet first. Okay, all right, so we have 5, 10, 15, 20. All 
for dining is gonna get a um, hundred dollars and for buffer is gonna get fifty dollars all right you guys so my wallet is good for two weeks okay you guys so we are now going to roll over the leftover money from my wallet into my no spend or less spend savings challenge so i have here um 150 200 10 15 20 so we have 220 to roll over into um the august envelope all right so january february march april may june july okay so so if we roll this over you guys let's see how much we have saved for the month of august and i have already updated my tracker just to show you guys okay so for august i already updated the tracker until the end of this month and i just need to write down how much i have saved for this month so i need my marker let's go ahead and count our money 150 250 300 20 40 60 80 400 20 40 60 70 80 85 90 so we have saved 490 dollars and i'm going to go ahead and write that down here for 90. okay okay so we're going to go ahead and put that back into our envelope july august okay okay all right you guys so we are now done with this savings challenge all right you guys so let's now begin with the new savings challenges um i'm not sure how long the savings challenges will take me to finish while paying off my husband's credit card but that's okay as long as we start stay consistent and put something away like we will hit our goal and by the way you guys can find this savings challenges in my etsy shop and the link is in the description below so we're gonna go ahead and start with my uh, roll and scratch uh, savings challenge so we play this game with um with a die the numbers underneath um, the numbers underneath this scratch of uh, stickers are the numbers I prefer between number 20 to 100 and that's what I feel comfortable saving and at the end goal amount for this challenge is going to be a surprise you guys so let's go ahead and play this and I'm gonna need my uh, scratcher tool all right you guys I'm just gonna go ahead and put this to the side and let's go ahead and play this game we're going to go ahead and roll our die to see what number we're going to get between one to six. All right, so we have here number four. So at number four, I'm going to go ahead and select what, um, bet uh, in this column, what I want to uh, scratch off. So let's go ahead and select, I'm going to go ahead and select this number. Did I say four, right? Yeah, four. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and scratch off this one. Okay, you guys, so we have scratch off 100. So that's mean, that means we're going to go ahead and put away $100. And I think, I think I might want to scratch off one more. So I'm going to go ahead and use my calculator and let me see let's go ahead and roll the die one more time <laughs> okay so number one so we're gonna go ahead and choose on this a column so let's go ahead and put, i mean scratch <laughs> scratch 
Mm, maybe this one. So, 100 plus 75, that's 175. I don't even need my calculator. <laughs> All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and stuff our envelope. Scratch. Okay, so roll and scratch saving challenge envelope with 100. Oh my God, I don't have any more 100. So 150, 60, 70, Five. Okay. Okay, so we're done with the savings challenge, but I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side because we're going to move along to our next savings challenge. So the next savings challenge is, okay, I want to get my marker and a color dye to play the next challenge we have here is my spectrum okay okay so i have here my spectrum um roll and save so this one is to play with the color dye um, the dye has like six different colors that matches the saving card and the numbers i have here are my preferred number range between 20 to 90 and those are the dollar amounts um, i am comfortable saving and the end goal amount for this one is also going to be a surprise so we will find out together once this is complete so let's go ahead and play all right you guys okay so it landed on the pink so i'm just gonna go ahead and select whatever number i i can like whatever number my budget can cover um let's go ahead and do the highest number just to get that out of the way so pink i'm gonna go ahead and select 80 dollars um, let me see i don't know 80 yeah so i'm gonna need my calculator because i might want to roll one more time so we have 80 let's go ahead and roll one more time and it landed on the blue so let me go ahead and mark it off first, 80. And so it landed on color blue. So I'm going to go ahead and choose 60. I'm going to go ahead and choose $30. <laughs> okay, so 80 plus 30 is 110 that we are going to put away so let me see 50 110 we are going to put that into our spectrum roll and save envelope all right you guys so moving right along to my favorite one of my favorite a challenge is the 100 envelopes um i did this challenge last year using the um mini envelopes where you fold your bills in half and put it in the mini envelope and in the box i believed i saved over like six thousand dollars doing that method and this year um, i want to do this challenge again in like um the envelope style like not folding your bills so it will like make it easier for me to unstuff after like completing this challenge and the goal amount for this savings challenge is um five thousand and fifty dollars so let's see how much we have left i think we can go ahead and stuff all of these but you know what you guys okay so we have 50 20 40 60 80 90 100 10 20 30 40 50 150 so i think i'm gonna go ahead and stuff 150 into this savings challenge but first i think i want to I want to exchange the smaller bills into the bigger bills 
so that you know I don't stretch out this envelope so let's go ahead and change it let me see in the August all right so I have here 20 40 60 80 90 100 so I'm gonna go ahead and put 100 here and we have here 10 20 30 40 50 and I'm gonna go ahead and put $50 there all right you guys so I'm just gonna go ahead and get this out of the way and let's go ahead now and stuff let's see a hundred oh <laughs> two hundred dollars you guys so i want to go ahead and knock off the higher number so on the envelopes 81 to 81 to 100 actually let me go ahead and change this to 100 Okay, you guys, so now that we change this to a bigger amount, so on the envelopes, 81 to 100, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out, knock out 99 and 100. And we're gonna go ahead and put $200 in here. So it's okay to put a little extra here so we can save a little more than 5,050 at the end of this challenge. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I guess cross it out so we're done with the savings challenge all right you guys so the last one is my piggy bank saving challenge guys look how big this jar is this is like 10 inch by like six diameter and like this is the largest i have available in my etsy shop this savings challenge is not a priority but we'll do what we can to save money in here and i made the sticker a tracker and the amount adds up vertically every time like i put money in it and you know mark it off i'll be able to see my progress and i've decided on the five dollar challenge and the gold amount here is uh one thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars so let's go ahead and put whatever money we have left here we have five ten fifteen dollars and we're gonna go ahead and okay okay our first fifteen dollars let's go ahead and just uh we have here i'm just gonna put a dot here i don't want to cover the amount so that i can read it like so i can read how much because if i tried crossing it out you guys and that just covers the amount so putting a dot is fine so all right so we have our first 15 dollars in here okay you guys thank you for sticking with me this far of the video so let's now talk about a giveaway so my plan was to do a 5,000 subscribers giveaway but i didn't reach that prior to living for our vacation back in may i came back and i saw we have more new friends so i think it's about time to do a giveaway so 5,000 is a long overdue. So let's make this a 7,000 subscribers giveaway. So first of all, this giveaway is free and no cost to those who wish to participate. The rules for this giveaway are, uh, one, you must be publicly subscribed to this YouTube channel. Two, Please leave your top three cash stuffers or a budgeting channel here on YouTube, like someone who uh, talks about their finances or their debt experiences. Maybe there are YouTube budgeting channels out there that I don't know about and I'd love to watch more budgeting videos. Like you don't have to explain why, okay? So just leave your top three uh, cash stuffers or budgeting channel here on YouTube. 
And the third uh, rule is please uh, use hashtag Pinam Family Budgets 7K. That's it with the three rules. So let's talk about prices. You'll be able to select one item of my merchandise that I have available in my Etsy shop. I don't have any other shop out there but Etsy. So please uh, visit my Etsy shop at Pinam Family Budgets. If there's any items there that interest you, you'll have a chance to get them for free if you are selected winners in this giveaway. I'm going to leave that up with you guys like choose what you want instead of me choosing for you Even if you already have my items perhaps you want to give it away to a family member a friend a co-worker like give it to somebody who you want to help or Give it away as a giveaway on your channel if you have one. So if you wish to customize the goal amount on any of the savings challenges you know please let me know and i will be willing to work that out with you if there's an a7 or a6 um, size envelopes that you like it can come in a set of six if i have supporters who are international you are welcome to enter so i just want to make sure that i do my part and give back to the community the deadline of this giveaway is September 14. Yes, let's keep the giveaway open for two weeks so that people have time to find this video and get a chance to participate. I will announce the seven winners together with you guys on my next cash stuffing video on September 16. Once the winners are selected, please email me within two days of the announcement or, you know, I will get a hold of you to let you know that you've won. And if I don't get a response in two days, I will have to choose another winner. So all the details of this giveaway will be on the description box down below. Again, it's free to enter this giveaway. Um, thank you to my new friends my Penang family, my supporters and fans. So make sure to check out my Etsy shop for any of the items that you saw today. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more content. So you guys are my rock. I will see you guys in two weeks, okay? Good luck and bye everyone.